interested in the endocrinology of male aging. So, you know, this goes back to the fact that our populations are aging, we have demographic change, and you know, our communities are growing older. And we know that as men grow older, their sex hormone levels change, particularly they have lower testosterone levels. And we've also shown that if you are an older man and your testosterone levels are low, you actually have poorer health outcomes. You're more likely to, for instance, have a stroke, mortality is higher, you're more likely to develop, have the diagnosis of dementia subsequently. So the lower your testosterone, the poorer your health outcomes across a range of different health outcomes. And what we were trying to see is, this, is there something that underlies all of this, that links hormone levels to all these different poorer health outcomes. And one of those things might be simply the process of biological aging as you grow older and your cells become more senescent, could that be the substrate for you getting all these different comorbidities? So what we wanted to do was see whether or not sex hormones in older men related to the process of biological aging. Um, so the study we did was part of the Western Australian Health in Men study. And for the analysis that we did, we had 2,913 men living in the community aged between 70 to 89 years. Average age was 77 years. And we measured sex hormones in those men um, and testosterone and its two bioactive metabolites. So we measured testosterone, estradiol, and dihydrotestosterone. And we also measured the length of telomeres as a marker of biological age. And telomeres are really interesting. What they are is there are DNA protein complexes at the end of chromosomes, and they protect the chromosomes from degradation. So they're actually essential components. And as you grow older, your telomeres shorten, and once they get too short, your cells become dysfunctional or senescent. So telomere length is a, actually a mediator as well as a biomarker for biological aging. And the sh longer your telomeres, the younger you are biologically. The shorter your telomeres, the older you are biologically. And we measure telomere length in our, um, the men in our study using the PCR method. And when we actually looked at the sex hormones and the relationship to length of telomeres in these older men, what we found was that Testosterone wasn't actually correlated with telomere length, neither was dihydrotestosterone, but it was actually estradiol that was correlated with the length of your telomeres, and it was a significant association. So the more estradiol you had in the blood, the longer your telomeres were. Um, and when we did the more sophisticated analysis, a multivariate analysis, we found that this was still the case, the more estradiol you had, the longer your telomeres were, and that was independent of age or body mass index or cardiometabolic risk factors. This is an observational study, but we think what we've um, shown is that sex hormone exposure appears to be related to biological aging. So the next step is to do a randomized controlled trial where we actually give men testosterone, see how much of it is converted to estradiol, and see what the effect of that on the, t on the length of telomeres is. Mm -hmm.